It is a cold afternoon, although the snow has subsided. 26 degrees, winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour out of the north. And they're playing on an artificial surface. And we've got a field goal try coming up right here. Brian Goins. As long as 49 yards. This is a 50-yarder with a win to his back. And he's got the first points of the game on the board. Brian Goins, who took over for the injured Sam Valenzisi a few weeks ago, puts Northwestern on top of the 50-yard field goal. It is 3-0 Wildcats. in the Big Ten Conference. He said, you need two things to be a punt returner. You need courage and confidence. Courage to catch the darn thing and confidence in your blockers up front and follow them to the hole, to daylight. I think you need it in that order, too. <laughs> Here's the snap to gallery, line drive, kick, and this one. Musso makes the play on it at the 40. Nice move there. It came through right on that play. Both of them did. Football just across the 43. And Schnur to the air. Wide open. Bates to the Iowa 36-yard line. First down, Northwestern. And the Wildcats on a first down near the 33-yard line of Iowa. Bates on a reverse. And it's well executed. Bates inside the 20 to a first down Northwestern near the 16-yard line at line of Iowa. Autry has a seam. And he's close to a first down near the 7-yard line of Iowa. Gain of almost 10 yards. McMillan made the stop. Hartle in motion. Autry, first down and goal to go inside the 5 near the 3-yard line of Iowa. Northwestern trying to send a message in the early going third quarter. First and goal at the Iowa three. That's Hartle in motion. Autry, well blocked off the right side, virtually untouched to the end zone for the touchdown. And in a seesaw fair here at Dyke Stadium, Northwestern retakes the lead. The Hawkeyes are fourth and 17, and they're going for it at the 30 yard line of Northwestern. Again, if you're thinking field goal, no chance into the kind of win they'd be kicking into. Sherman on fourth down. He's got a man, Tim Dwight, the pass wide of the mark. The coverage provided by Eric Collier, and it is first down Northwestern going the other way. I guess single-digit wind chill factors on the field. First down to the 
31. Northwestern showed blitz and backed out of it. The screen pass, or they should say the little flat pass to the big tight end, and he fumbles the football. It's picked up by his man. Lost the football on a hit. Is Maley picked it up and takes it in for what could be the clinching score of the game. Well, it's a story that has happened so many times. Here you see Rodney Ray come up, force the fumble. Is Maley right there in order to pick up the ball and then turns it into the touchdown. But so many times this year, this Northwestern defense has created turnovers, has made the play. Less than a minute to go. Fourth down. This to stay in the game. Matt Sherman. Feels some pressure. And Cedric Shaw could not haul it in. I'm not sure he would have gotten the first down out of that anyway. The pressure was coming from the guys up front. And that forced the throw by Sherman. And the Wildcats take over on downs. Casey Daly was among those pressuring the quarterback. Western Wildcats have ended a long losing streak. 21 consecutive losses to the Iowa Hawkeyes. The Northwestern Wildcats today have broken that string and proven to Hayden Fry, who said, hey, you know, I know they're good, but they got to prove it to me. They haven't beaten us in 21 straight games today. They were able to accomplish that, break the streak to Iowa, and in a season that has seen Northwestern in a lot of firsts. First win over Michigan in three decades. First win over Notre Dame. First win since 1973 over the Iowa Hawkeyes. You see that a lot, and it just seems as though everybody you talk to, well, they've got to show me. They, you know, I, I know what they're doing, but when is this bubble going to burst? When are they going to come down to reality? This is reality. They are a good, good football team, and every week they continue to go out and show those doubters we can and we can. Well, they got off to a 3-0 lead at Northwestern. Iowa stormed back with 14 unanswered points and appeared to be taking command of the first half, and in fact were dominating this ball game. Then Northwestern put together a run of 14 unanswered points to take the lead. Iowa comes back and grabs a 20-17 lead, and in the fourth period of play, Northwestern Wildcats on a turnover, which I guess is symbolic of the way their season has gone. They have scored almost as much off the defense as they have on offense. Turnovers have led to points for Northwestern. 98 points were directly related to plays made by their defense coming into today's game. The nail in the coffin of the Hawkeyes was scored by the defense. A fumble by Price, the tight end for Iowa, picked up on the play by Ismaili. He motored 31 yards into the end zone, and the uh, story was written. Uh, and their special teams contributed today. Brian Musso with the punt return. Everybody contributes and should, should take some pride and some satisfaction in this victory. All right, let's head back to the studio for Randy Wright, Jim Barber, Wayne Larrabee. So long from Evanston. Mike Gleason.